Okay everyone, this is going to be another short video. For the moment it's going to be a one-off, but I might make it a uh, part of a series uh, involving um, physics. So we're going to look at changing the linear drag in real time, basically as the application is running. So uh, the reason why you'd want to do this is say uh, there's games out there that have like a, a parachute mechanic where say you're you're skydiving and you want to slow yourself down so you have some kind of thruster or parachute that slows you down so the way you would do that is you would change the linear drag on uh, the character so I'll show you what that is and, and we'll get right into this so just three images again so we'll just drag and drop these in Not going to do much with the platform, it's really just somewhere for them to land. Okay. So, we've put the three images there. First, we're going to start by uh, clicking on the parachute, dragging and dropping it onto the person. Reason for that is we want to. Um, make the parachute a child of the parent of the of the stick person now the second thing that we're going to do is also while we have parachute highlighted we're going to click on color and we're going to set this to zero now again there's uh, just like I say in my other videos there's many ways to do this this is kind of uh, just a quick way to show you uh, how a few of these things come together. You may want to instantiate the parachute. We're just going to make it invisible for the time being. So for the stick man himself, we're going to click on him. We're going to click on Add Component. We're going to do Physics 2D, and we're going to do a box collider so he can actually land. Is not a trigger. And we're also going to add Physics 2D rigid body 2D. Now this is what I was talking about. By default, there's a gravity scale, so if I was to run this right now, they'll drop. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. See, gravity applies. He fell through the bottom because I haven't put the collider box there yet. So, um, and as you could see, just like in real life, that as he drops, he drops faster over time and a real object would keep going until it reaches its terminal velocity. So the idea is we want to slow that and the way you slow is by changing the linear drag. So by default we want them to have the normal amount of gravity but if they deploy their chute or their thruster or whatever then by applying linear drag you can slow them down. Um, next for the platform we just want to add a box collider. Uh, we don't want it to be a trigger and so now it should stop it. Perfect. We can just uh, tweak the uh, collider box if you want a little bit because he was kind of hovering above it. That's okay there. Okay so um, I've already written out the code but what I'll do is I'll create a new script and we'll just copy and paste it. So clicking on the uh, character, click Add Component, New Script, and we'll just call this Deploy. Double click and open that up. And this is going to be a very short uh, script. Uh, again, I'm just going to jump over to the uh, text file where I have it stored. Don't worry, I'm going to copy and paste it and explain everything. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to add two variables. First one, public key code, and then I called it space button. You don't have to call it space button, I was just reminding myself what button I'm going to use. Generally speaking, you probably actually name this after what it does, thruster, or whatever. In this case, it's, it's, it's going to be uh, the, the trigger. So, public key code, space button. So, this variable is a key code. The uh, the system will be looking for uh, player input. Public transform parachute. 
and this is going to be an object. So let's go ahead and save that and you'll see the two variables will appear. So space button will make it be the space button. Again I don't typically name it what the button's going to be. And then for parachute you grab the object from over here you drag it and drop it. The reason for this is even though this object is a child of this object that just means that if you do something to the parent the child inherits it. So if you if you rotate the parent the child rotates. You move the parent the child uh, also moves scaling it so on and so forth. Whatever you do to the parent the child has the same thing done to it. Next. As you can see very very little here. Okay, so in the update section, first, if open parenthesis input dot get key down, open parenthesis space button close close. So it's this variable. It's checking to see if this variable is being used. If so, everything between these brackets gets executed. Get component rigid body 2D so I'm addressing the rigid body 2D component of whatever this is attached to the script is attached to the stick man specifically I want to change the drag and I want to bump it up to 12 now this is one of I guess I'd say my pet peeves with uh, unity they make a point of of using the the phrase component so they're telling you it's a component they make a point of having you use the name of the component but from time to time for some reason they don't have you use the exact naming here like scale is referred to as local scale um, and it it's just asking for drag it's not saying linear so anyways uh, so get component rigid body 2d drag bump then up the 12 as you can see it sees it starts at zero um, nothing really magical about the number 12 I just tried trial and error tried it till I got one that I liked next one another get component but see how I prefixed it with the other variable the object variable so what this is saying I'm gonna get a component but I'm not gonna get a component of what the script is attached to I'm gonna get a component of this variable so this variable get component what component the sprite renderer what attribute color and what we're going to do is we're setting the color um, back to being fully uh, opaque fully solid um, the ones just mean 100% so 100% red 100% green 100% blue this is really the one that's changing the the alpha channel it's being set to one right now it's at zero so what that's going to do is when we hit the space button it's going to bump up the, the linear drag, slow it down, and it will make the parachute visible. So first we'll let him crash. So as you can see, he speeds up and then crashes. Actually, let's move him a little bit higher so it's a little bit more obvious. Speeds up, crashes. Now watch this. Then hit the space bar, and he slows much more gentle landing. So that's about it. That's really what I wanted to demonstrate is that you can change uh, how quickly an object falls in real time. Uh, it doesn't have to be ongoing like this. It could be a thruster that you hit the button, very briefly the linear drag affects it, and then, uh, uh, and then disengages. So that will probably be the next video in this series is um, I'll do that. So rather than a parachute, that's ongoing it'd be a thruster that only very briefly slows your linear drag so you'll see them actually speeding up so that should about do it